Hey everyone, my name is the Theme Park Evangelist. Well, it is officially one week away from my trip to Canada, as crazy as it is. So, um, uh, the reason why I am uh, doing a uh, vlog today is because today is Random Vlog Wednesday. It is no longer even my college days Wednesday, it is now Random Vlog Wednesday. Uh, if you guys remembered from last week, I concluded my college days uh, vlogs and uh, I decided to just go ahead and go back to random vlogs uh, for basically the remainder of my YouTube duration until I come up with two brand new YouTube series. And right now, I'm just wanting to focus on a brand new one I'm going to be introducing here to my YouTube channel by next month. And it's going to be called, How Can I Stay Faithful and Focused on God Even During Difficult Times? So, I figured that would be a very appropriate one, especially because everybody goes through tough times. I'm going through tough times. My woman is going through tough times, Katie, uh, my fiancé, who I'm getting married to in less than a year, uh, always goes through tough times. So... I figured uh, this would be uh, a perfect uh, vlog to uh, discuss with you guys for sure. So, uh, anyway, um, today I actually wanted to discuss with you guys something I never really thought about before, but with it being November 20th and considering uh, next Wednesday's vlog is not even going to be a uh, random vlog, um, or random vlog Wednesday, actually starting next Tuesday, I'm going to be uh, starting up uh, the vacation series, so this will be the last uh, random vlog um, YouTube series, so to speak, or just random vlog Wednesday, if you will, until December. So starting next week, we're going to be starting up the whole vacation series, and that will go on until early December. And then we'll be back to this again. And uh, since I'm going to be wanting to go into my Christmas YouTube um, channel, whatever, like, to uh, make sure I'm making more sense here, when we come into December, I'm going to be wanting to spend every single Wednesday talking about something Christmas-related. Because it's going to be December. But since this is technically the uh, closest to the end of the year without going into the Christmas season as I can get. And with how close we are to 2025. I figured you guys would like to hear about why next year 2025 is going to be my biggest travel year for my YouTube channel ever. And... You know, I think this is going to be so exciting for you guys because of the fact that um, next year I just have so many exciting things planned out for you guys that will um, just really wow you and make, make you go like, why didn't you do that sooner? Well, you're going to find out. So to start out with, um, April of 2025, Lord willing, if uh, I do get the time off from work, a lot of these are going to be Lord willing. I want you to keep that in mind. August, they don't have a choice. They have to give me the time off because I'll freaking put in my two weeks in if they don't. I am not even joking right now. <laughs> so, um... I mean, I don't mean to go that extreme, but I, I promise you, not only will Katie make me do it, but Katie's parents will probably drive all the way up here and force me to put in my two weeks. And I was right in front of my manager. So, yeah, they better approve it. I mean, this is something we've been planning for a couple of years now. And we this is the official date. We're sticking to it. No questions asked. So, um, yeah, 
April, um, Lord willing, which this is something that has to do with the wedding. I'm going to, I'm hoping and praying to go with Katie down to North Carolina to do some wedding stuff. But on the way back, I was thinking, so since we're already going to be coming back, I actually now have an acquaintance out in Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, and I figured we go meet her for breakfast at Sawyer's. Also, she uh, was so kind to give me a free Dollywood ticket. Uh, she, her husband works for Dollywood. And then on top of that, uh, since we're already going to be out there and with me working for Hilton, I thought it would be so cool to uh, stay um, at the brand new Double Tree that's right there in um, Gatlinburg. So it's actually going to be within five minutes of the uh, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. I mean, it's an easy drive. And for only a very reasonable price, I almost said the, the, the number, but I was like, nope, I'm not going to do it. For a very reasonable price, I literally am going to get a room with a king bed, believe it or not, maybe even two king beds, plus right now I'm looking at a balcony with a partial view, but I'm trying to upgrade it for a very cheap price to get a full view of the Smokies, plus it's got like up to four different indoor pools. I could say indoor pool, but I'm not going to this time. And then it's got a restaurant and room service. And it's got a really nice elevator. It's a glass elevator. All the rooms are completely indoors. I was just like, I've already seen the hotel on YouTube. And I was, <laughs> best way to put it. So, very excited about staying here. Cannot wait to show this on YouTube. You guys are going to love it. And the best part is, I'm going to be staying there again in August. So, even if I do accidentally miss this in April, if and if you guys miss it in April, don't worry. You're going to see it again in August. So, Lord willing, in May, um, there is a very high chance I might be traveling out of the country. I'm not going to say where. Uh, but um, right now, because I can't find any Hilton's anywhere near where I'm planning on staying, which is very unfortunate, uh, I did... Uh, managed to find something decent uh, on Hotels.com. Uh, I haven't used Hotels.com in quite a while, but I already have a room booked. Uh, I do have up to 48 hours to cancel my room with no fee whatsoever. It was free. Uh, it was like one of those book now, pay later kind of things, just like what I'm doing with um, Hotel, I'm sorry, with Hilton. So um, I'm praying and hoping I can do this. The reason why I'm doing this is because a bunch of people that I'm very close to are all planning on getting together in this cabin, if that's what I'm understanding correctly. And because I'm planning on bringing Katie along and she doesn't know these people like I do, it's like, yeah, I don't really know if I really want to be staying in the same cabin as these people. And I said to Katie, yeah, when you go see my mom's side of the family in a week, that's a whole new story, but this is a whole new group of people you're not used to staying in the same exact places. Even I'm not used to it. I don't even remember the last time I stayed in the same place as all these people. So I uh, basically said to her, why don't you and I just for a weekend go rent a, or not rent, but stay in a motel. I try my absolute hardest to find a motel or hotel with Hilton, but I just, I was not successful. I was very disappointed, and every single one that I did find in the vicinity was charging outrageous prices for parking. It's like, who can afford to pay for parking when you're already paying a small fortune just to stay in a hotel? It's like, come on, man. But I did finally find one that was not uh, charging uh, for uh, parking whatsoever. I was like, heck yeah, this is amazing. I love that. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, decided to, after spending, what was it, like a couple of hours doing some research, I was like, yes, this is it. So, um, 
Uh, that's uh, literally the uh, motel I booked in. Not saying names or anything. I I mean, I'll, I can tell you the kind of hotel I got. I think it was like a Comfort Suites. Comfort Suites aren't too bad. I mean, it's not Hilton, but still. But I'm not going to tell you guys where it is, we're, let alone the country we're going to be in. But I think you guys can kind of take a guess. Um, anyway, uh, so after that, uh, there is uh, nothing going on until August. So you guys already know about August. That's the wedding. So um, we're going to be staying. Or I already booked my um, room. So basically what I decided to do for the wedding was, and I don't know if this camera is looking blurry or not, but uh, Lord willing, it's not. Let me just try bring it a little closer. Um, anyway, so because of the fact that I am getting married that weekend, what I decided to do was, okay, so obviously Katie and I can't sleep in the same bed together until we're married. That's just not the biblical thing to do. I know a lot of you secular people like TJ Atten, who have already been sleeping with who knows how many women in the same exact bed before marriage. That's on you, but... Um, David here, uh, signed or joined I wait back in middle school and I wait basically is a program that says I will wait to have sex until after marriage. And who knows, I may not even do it at all. I may decide to stay a virgin my whole life and that's my choice. And I know people there like Veneta have literally bashed me to the point where I decide to go block. When you're ready to come apologize to me, you can do so on your own time. You have my number. You know how to find me. <laughs> I didn't make you. I didn't make it completely impossible to find me. So uh, the very first night, uh, I'm going to be uh, staying in the same exact hotel in a completely different room uh, with a king bed. I figured, eh, why not? It's my last night sleeping alone for the rest of my life. <laughs> Unless, of course, I decide to be a complete butthead one night and I get kicked out of the room and I have to sleep on the couch, but we'll have to see if that ever happens in my lifetime. That was slight sarcasm, by the way, because you just never know. Uh, de that depends on Katie. And then from that point forward, as long as we're staying in that hotel, which I think I got that hotel for one or two more nights, I don't remember, uh, offhand. Um... Uh, they, uh, I, I, uh, I believe I did book the same exact, I might have been in the same room, I don't remember, it might be in the same room type, I have to go back and look, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that from that point forward, yes, I do um, have still a king bed, but I went, I upped it from one adult to two adults, starting that Saturday night. So, for all I know, I might get the same room. I might get the, I know I have the same room type. That would be convenient because that means just Katie can bring in all her crap into uh, my room and, you know, we'll just, uh, all, how, all we have to do is move all the stuff from the hotel room to the car and vice versa from that point forward. I'm going to be putting Katie and her parents, or at least her mother, in another hotel uh, before. I have no idea where my father-in-law is going to be staying. Uh, as of right now, I still have plenty of time to change things. If, for whatever reason, uh, things end up working out that my father-in-law and I end up sharing a room, all I have to do is find out early enough, and then I just go in, I change the room type to a double queen, and... Voila, we have some, we both have a room to stay in together, and then I just, and that's only for just the one night. And then from that point forward, I just um, literally end up uh, having the uh, single king for the remainder of the, time, the trip. So it's still early yet. We don't know what's going to happen, but we got plenty of time to figure things out. We're going to figure things out. It's still early. But yeah, um, otherwise, um, we're going to be uh, uh, hitting up the, uh, not the Columbus Zoo, but the, um, 
what is it called again? It's the, um, there, there is a zoo in North Carolina that Katie really wants to take me to. This would, it would help if she was right here with me, but she's not. Uh, but, um, there is a zoo. I think it's the Asheboro Zoo or the Asheville Zoo. So I found us a, a another Hilton that was uh, not too far from that zoo because I figured we'll spend the entire day out there and then we'll um, stay in another Hilton afterwards and then we'll get up the next morning and then we'll continue on to Pigeon Forge and then we'll stay at that double tree that I was talking about earlier. Last but not least, I'm excited to say we're going to be staying um, Lord willing, once again, this is a huge Lord willing, and this once again, and this time it has nothing to do with work, but this time it has to do with our, my in-laws at, at that time, and my parents going to be 100% on board. My parents are, my in-laws are still on the fence about it, but we will see what happens. Uh, of course, you know, there's always going to be you know, that tension between the two sides of the family, that's never going to change. But it's how you deal with it. That I can change. So that's something I've been kind of learning over the past year. And, um, you know, I'm really praying and hoping that we'll do this family combined Christmas. That was actually something my mom came up with, which shows that my mom really is trying. And that means a lot to me. My mom came up with this idea of the Dunbars and the Blanchards getting together for Christmas um, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee uh, next year. And I think that is the coolest thing ever. I'm just like, wow, that would be awesome. We should totally do that, especially since we'll have been married then or by then. So um, uh, even if... We don't necessarily stay in the same exact cabin together, which I would love to do. Uh, and that wouldn't be too far from my in-laws at the time, because they're getting ready to move out to Western North Carolina. So that's only a few hours of a drive for them. And I mean, yes, it'd be even less of a drive from uh, Western North Carolina if we just find a cabin not too far from them. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's only four hours from us. I mean, from me, three and a half from where I am right now, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be staying here much longer. Katie and I have already begun looking for our first apartment together. Even as I'm speaking right now, we've already begun looking. <laughs> I mean, we've got until July, so we got to get that ball rolling. It's not like I have uh, all the time in the world either. And I mean, speaking of which, I got to get my uh, car uh, back over to Hyundai to uh, get that taken care of too, which I might just end up having to call Oliver and see what he can do for me because he's the guy who sold me the car and it sounds like he's willing to work with me better than um, the service department because the service department kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm kind of waiting on my uh, phone to finish charging because uh, it was almost dead when I first woke up this morning. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really, uh, praying and hoping this will, uh, work out because I think that would be the coolest thing for us to get together for a few days, uh, out in, um, Tennessee for a weekend or whatever and, um, just celebrating Christmas, but, um, you know, that's over a year away, but yeah, it's a lot of the reason why next year, 2025, is going to be the biggest travel year is because next year is the wedding year. If you guys haven't seen a pattern here, every single thing I've talked about except for next May has to do with the wedding. Next May is actually something completely different that has nothing to do with the wedding. But literally April, August, and December, all three of those trips have something to do with the wedding. <laughs> I mean, have you guys noticed a pattern here? Yes, I'm only turning 32 next November, but still, I mean, August 2025, Katie and I will become one flesh, um, as the Bible states, because we will be married. We're uh, 
I'm going to be the uh, uh, first of my generation on my um, uh, and my uh, dad's immediate family to get married. Um, there hasn't been a wedding on my mom's side of the family in seven years as of right now, but next year will be eight years. Um, my dad's side of the family is a little bit more recent to my knowledge. I think my cousin Felicia was the most recent to get married. And um, I'm going to be the next one. And uh, even then, her wedding was still years ago. So I'm going to be the next one that is going to be getting married. And, you know, it's, it's huge because, you know, everybody has been asking for quite some time, when is David going to get married? And uh, even on my mom's side of the family, we've been joking around, who's going to get married first, David or uh, Paul, my cousin Paul? And um, I ended up proving to everybody I was going to be the next one. And everybody was like, are you freaking serious right now? And I'm like, yeah, I never would have guessed that either. Trust me. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. And a lot of people have been wondering, like, what's taking David so long to get married? And it's like, it's nothing to do with me. You have to ask a woman. She's the one that wants to take her time getting married. But if you guys haven't noticed on camera when Katie is sitting here with me, I think you can definitely tell that she loves me just as much as I love her. Yes, I admit that I'm a little bit more independent on certain things. Like, let me give you an example. All right. Let me... Um, rephrase this it's not that i don't love her as much as i as she loves me i guess what i'm trying to get at is last night was a perfect example of a time when she loves me more than i love myself i think that's where the problem is right now and that's something we've been learning about in premarital counseling um a lot of my problem is and I've been talking about this on my YouTube channel for quite some time. I have been subject to bullying uh, a lot over the years. I've been told so many times horrible things I wish not to repeat on YouTube because it will make people cry. I, I've been told uh, things that I wish to on here, but I can't. And... Katie has basically come up to me and said, you need to forget about those things and just remember three very important things. Number one, God loves me no matter what. No matter what those worldly people say. Um, sorry. Keep getting messages. Number two, that she loves me no matter what other people say. And that I shouldn't even let what other people say dictate how I live my life. And then finally, number three, her parents love me no matter what other people say about me. She likes to rub that one in my face a lot. And, you know, it's hard for me to think about that because every time I make a mistake, every time I do the wrong thing, every time... Um, I think about something that reminds me of my past. My first instinct is to think I need to punish myself because every single time I made the wrong decision, every time I made a mistake in the past, every time something went wrong in the past and it related to me, even in the slightest, I was supposed to be punished for it. And that's what I dealt with for years and years and years. And Katie literally gets up in my face and tells me, that's in the past. Think about now. And now I want you to think about the fact that I love you for who you are. That's all that matters. And do you know how hard that is for me to think about? <laughs> Somebody who was literally told, the most gruesome things ever told by man. And she knows these things. And she says to me, I don't care. I love you. 
Do you know how hard that hits home? Vanita, I could care less what you think about Katie. I hope that you heard those words, and I really hope and pray that you heard straight from my own lips that it does not matter whether you think Katie and I are arguing. I don't care if you think that Katie and I um, often come across as um, the, the couple that does not deserve to be together. I don't care about the fact that Katie and I don't ever plan on having biological kids for the reasons that we've given you and that we're going to adopt. I don't care about the fact that you think that um, we are not, you know, your normal standard couple. Katie loves me so much, and I just gave you so many good reasons why Katie loves me for who I am. There's a reason why you are blocked on my Facebook. There's a reason why I have not spoken to you in two months. I want those words to sink in your head right now. So, and yes, I admit it, I'm overweight. Yes, I admit it that a lot of you guys like to bully me for my weight. But guess what? Katie looks up to me and says, I don't care if you're overweight or not. You're not overweight to me. Because secretly, she's overweight too. So that's why she doesn't care. But, um, you know, I don't mean to get so passionate when I talk about my love for Katie. But I want you guys to hear this one final point. If Katie can overlook so easily every single one of my flaws and still love me for who I am, then why can't I love her for who, for who she is? There have been so many times when she drives me crazy, but deep down inside, I still remember that this is the woman who refuses to see my flaws, who refuses to remind me about them. And every time I even mess up right in front of her and I get punished for it, Katie brushes it right off like it didn't even happen. And it says, it was a mistake. Let it go. Let it go. Well, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I'm hoping and praying that I can afford to take you guys to see the... Uh, Christmas lights at the uh, Kentucky Horse Park with Katie um, here in the next couple of days right now. As I mentioned, I am out of work until Sunday. So um, just depending on how I'm doing with DoorDash, I might be able to afford to take you guys out there. Uh, we'll see what happens. But always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength and you. Have a great day. Peace out. I'm going to go get some water. I am thirsty. And i got to go get some more uh, grocery, some more water and some more milk this afternoon with Katie when she gets off of work. So, yay me.